Evolution is Disturbed's seventh album and the first since 2015's Immortalized. This is coming off the back of a three-year hiatus. Now, I find this really interesting, this whole hiatus thing. Now, I do remember Disturbed saying that they were going on a hi hiatus. But considering this album was announced in like back in January that they were writing it, you kind of got to wonder, was this really a hiatus or was this just the sort of album span between the two, Immortalized in 2015? and Evolution in 2018. I know that it was more about, probably about not touring live and so on, but you never seem to be too far away from Disturbed being in the news because of like the Sound of Silence cover and so on. It never really felt like a hiatus. You know, bands go on hiatus, you just don't want to hear anything from them. Normally, other members start other projects and things like that. This just felt like Disturbed finished writing one album, toured the cycle, did all that stuff, and then moved on to this one, which is, you know, not really a hiatus at all. But it's a fitting title, as this is a band who has certainly evolved over the years, particularly when you think back to their new metal debut, Down With The Sickness. Now, that was my first introduction to Disturbed, back when um, The Sickness came out. Uh, I love that album. Back in my new metal phase, because that was my entry point in the metal, uh, Disturbed The Sickness was absolutely my jam. I loved most of the tracks, and I even enjoyed Shout 2000, the cover of Tear For Fears, um, Shout. But it hasn't aged well. When I go back and listen to it, I kind of think, whoa, some of these songs are a bit stupid. Well, like, stupefying, things like that. But there are some that really stand the test of time. Following that, didn't really give them much time. You know, I listened to a few tracks off each album as it came out, but I kind of drifted away from them. The sound really didn't do much for me anymore, and they just kind of fell off my radar. So it was kind of fun to go back to Disturbed, you know, fully and go, right, let's see where they're at. You know, I'm aware of them. I know they're being influenced. Um, I know the popularity the huge popularity of their cover songs. They're always capable of delivering anthemic tunes and Evolution certainly doesn't change that up. Especially with the opener, Are You Ready? Having just enough rhythmic hardness to step out of the Electronica intro's shadow. It's such a disturbed song, as is the following No More with its thumping drum beat. This opening duo, it's so very disturbed, it's so very safe, and honestly, it's all completely unexciting. It is fan service, basically, and as the album goes on, that makes more and more sense. It seems like the success of the Simon Garfunkel cover, The Sound of Silence, has clearly had some influence on what comes next, because the reason the fight is a ballad. A rock ballad, but a ballad nonetheless. One built on acoustic melody and David Raymond's wonderful vocal performance. He He's brilliant here. He really does soar. He's got a great voice. But it's still not that good. It's just about, it's about as interesting as watching paint dry. Um, but it does show off the evolution of Disturbed. And the, effects, the effects heavy Into Another Time is a catchy tune. Uh, Stronger On Your Own is par for the course, as Disturbed fire off another future radio single, before Hold On to Memory steps back into the clean singing, melody-driven, softer stuff, for to varying degrees of success. I can see a lot of people really liking this one, um, and it's certainly one of the better ballady numbers, because it's sweet-sounding, but it's just fairly bland. It kind of tracked your grandmother, or grandfather would like because they heard a sound and sound of silence cover like you know they went oh let me go check out more of this band's music and then stumble across this and like oh this band's really really nice you know it's not playing many of the other stuff and evolution continues the formula of these softer melodic tracks interspersed amongst more familiar disturbed tracks the anthem anthems they become so well known for um and they hardly seem to be testing themselves here it seems as if after like six previous albums, the Stub can write singles in their sleep. Even their heaviest track on the album, The Best One Lies, good song, really good song, has radio play written all over it. But to be honest, the highlight of the Evolved Disturbed is What You Burn, thanks to its great inclusion of a string element. But the finale, Already Gone, is pretty strong too. The final two tracks certainly, uh, I think, up the game of the album. Even though uh, Already Gone is a real bummer of a tune to end on. It's morose melody and pain vocals and things on a real downer. So, Disturbed are definitely evolving, defiantly evolving. On this album, they're not quite there yet. Mix them both classic Disturbed tunes with influence that is clearly directing their future. It's an album of two parts. One fan service, one with an eye on what happens next. Uh, the amount of rookie ballads, four out of the ten tracks suggests that they're definitely leaning toward more towards the influences uh, perhaps from the success of their cover song. And the end result of this album is it's just okay. It's about as best as it gets. It's got one or two good tracks, a fair few bland numbers, and a couple of interesting stuff. But you're not going to come away going, wow, 
this has changed the face of metal in 2018. It's disturbed being mostly comfortable, you know, going the comfortable route. Here's some songs that pick up that we've done over the last X amount of years that we've been around um, to please the fans. No one's going to say, oh, Disturbed, look at this, a totally different album. But let's throw in a few songs too that might shake things up, you know. 